Let's expand on mentalization from RVO1. Infant attachment or attachment theory is the premise of mentalization. The relationship that an infant bears with a parent at a younger age, preferably between the age of zero to four, shares a direct correlation to that infant's ability to understand interpersonal relations and behavior at a later, at a later more mature age. It is directly associated with the infant's social and emotional development. It impacts the rate at which the infant can form mental inferences and ideas about others. The child expects, at that early age, to have an attachment. If he or she does not receive it, he or she experiences perhaps a sense of abandonment or emotional impact. That impacts its emotional health. Therefore, the relationship with the parent, sibling, or relative is crucial for the child at an early age. This theory has um, even been studied with borderline personality patients. Borderline patients often experience long-term patterns of either unstable or turbulent emotions and feelings, often either about themselves or others. This has, more commonly than not, dealt with either genetic, familial, or social factors. This allows us to create the suggestion that our capacity to represent either an image of our self or the others in the social sphere around us is not a direct result of physical maturation, but rather an affiliation with our emotional and mental development, primarily at the earlier stages in our lives. Loss of attachment at an early stage can create this, the distinction between a primitive mode of thought and a more sufficient mode of thought. Finally, it's important to know that the mind is transparent of itself and requires interaction with other minds in a social sphere. There's a self-reflective concept involved with the mind, but there's also an interpersonal comp component. If that interpersonal component is afflicted, or if there's no emotional affinity in one's life at, at, at an early age, then perhaps that person could be unable to mentalize under optimal con conditions at a more mature physical age. Mental age versus chronological age. Implicit and explicit factors, as well as internal and external attributions, should be should be considered at all times when studying cognitive development, especially at an earlier age. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in RVO3, hopefully covering perhaps another topic with mentalization or something new. Thanks for watching if you did.